I think it's important for me to be able to to relate the things that I've been through as an individual, as a gay Latino man growing up in New York City. Um, I, I feel it's important to, to be able to, to express that and share those stories in, in my writing. From the West Side Highway piers of New York City to the farmlands of Laramie, Wyoming, to the Castro streets of San Francisco, and feel the closest we can to heaven. Because true love has no boundaries, and our angels have wings too. My name is Emmanuel Xavier. I am a New York City based spoken word artist, poet, writer. By the time I was 16, I was kicked out of my home because I was gay and I was out on the streets. I discovered the West Side Highway Piers of New York City and became a hustler and a drug dealer. This was the early 90s, so. Things were relatively different. Um, there were safe spaces for queer youth, for homeless queer youth, but not as they're probably not as prominent as they are now. We find ourselves hanging out at the West Side Highway Piers. We find ourselves sleeping at clubs. The people who were involved with the ball scene hung out at the piers because it was mostly made up of young queer youth of color and that was just simply where we congregated as a community, that is simply where we found each other um, as a people and it's just symbolic that it was at the very edge of New York City. The, the piers were not terrorized by police as they are now so I mean and yes there was a lot of decadence, there was a lot of drug use, there was a lot of prostitution, there was a lot of crime, but you know, um, at the same time there was something very beautiful, very New York that that came from this. I came from the whole ball scene. They were very popular back in, most popular like in the late 80s, early 90s. And what they were, were like gay fraternities. They were makeshift families. There was a mother figure and a father figure and, and children. At the balls they would compete in voguing categories or realness categories. And um, there was a lot of creativity. and. Well, there is a lot of creativity and there, there is a lot that comes from that community as far as our culture, whether it's vocabulary or, um, you know, fashion or just, you know, dance. Um, I, I guess the, the epitome of that was when it was discovered by Malcolm McLaren who introduced Madonna to the scene and she did the Vogue video. It was very divisive because either you were for it or against it. And um, and there were a lot of very strong emotions that were intertwined with it because, you know, it was something that was so close to a lot of people. It was how they defined themselves as, as a community, as a whole. I think the scene was definitely already changing with the prominence of AIDS, which came about like, you know, in the mid 80s. We lost a lot of um, the legends, a lot of the people that, that were involved with that scene and, um, and so that definitely had a lot to do with the change and at the same time physically um, the West Side Piers were changing, they were being renovated, they were being converted into a sort of a, a park, a recreational area. All of that sort of created a lot of resistance within, you know, the community of queer youth of color, but um, at the same time, like I, I guess we were all aware that there was definitely change in the air. It is something that will always, hopefully, belong to us. 
you know, in some way. And, and even if it doesn't, there will always be that history that, that is there.